Hello, in this video, we will introduce custom exception classes. You can define custom exception classes to model exceptions that cannot be adequately represented using C++ standard exception classes. Let's look at this example now. We define the triangle class as derived from the geometric object class. In the triangle class here, the three sides, if you have any two sides add together is less than the other side, this cannot form a triangle. So when you set a site, you need to check this condition see if this is true. When you create a triangle with three sides, you also need to check this condition. If that's not true, so if it's not a valid triangle, you should have threw a proper exception. So now we're going to define triangle exception as follows. So this is a triangle exception. You can define any class for exception. In C++, but if you define your class to be a subtype of one of the existing exception classes, you can use the features already available in the API. So I'm going to now derive triangle exception from logical error. This is my triangle exception. So here is this is the constructor with the three sides. The constructor now invokes the best class constructor logical error with this message invalid triangle. So these are the three sides. So this is all we have is put into this triangle exception three sides, you can get the three sides. Now, we're going to have this triangle header file. In this header file, so this is the uh, inclusion got define, and if not defined, so we're going to define it. And this is a triangle. Here is the uh, triangle exception dot edge. The triangle class is a subtype of the geometric object. So here's the constructor. And this is another constructor. So this is the constructing a triangle with three sides. Now, we're going to have this function is valid to test if this is valid. So here is valid, it's right here. This is, is valid. So if the two sides add together is greater than the other side for all this, any of these two sides, add together is greater than the other side. So this is going to return true. So that means is valid. Otherwise, it is not valid. So here, if it's not valid, we're going to, to through exception. So this is the exception we're going to through is the triangle exception. And this triangle exception has this constructor here. You have this three sides, side one, side two, and side three. So look at the constructor for the triangle exception. So this is the constructor, three sides. Now, let's write a test program of using this. So here's the test program, test triangle. So we're going to prompt the user for the, um, uh, no, it's, we just have this here is the, uh, just create this um, default 
using the NOAA constructor to create the, the uh, triangle. And this triangle here, so when we look at this, is the uh, using NOAA constructor. So look at the NOAA constructor here is all the sides are one. So this is the triangle. So look at the uh, get perimeter, get area. So now I'm going to set the side to three, two, four. So this will be invalid. So you have this four. And so four is the other two sides. One plus one is less than four. So this is not going to be a triangle. And so now we're going to see what happens. It's going to through exception. So what is the exception is, so now you can say, I'm going to use the triangle exception. And this was passed by reference. And this is the X. Now you can use EX what? EX dot what? So that is because we define triangle exception to be a subtype of logical error and logical error is in the uh, C++ uh, library and for the standard uh, exception. So you can use the function what to display that message. So that message you're going to display is, look, this is the message here, is this. So see this, what we have here is invalid triangle. So now you're going to see this is invalid triangle is displayed. Three sides are, so this three sides are one, one, four. So you're going to display this three sides, ex dot get site one, ex dot get size two, ex dot get size three. So this is ex is from the triangle exception. So this is triangle exception. Look at the triangle exception here. Triangle exception has this uh, get side one, get side two, get side three. So now what happens if you change this to simply exception? It's not going to work because here, look at ex dot get side one. So this exception class does not have the function get site one. The only this is triangle exception has this get site one. That is all for creating custom exception classes. See you on the next video.